All right. Well, my next project for me is uh, I'm doing a C10 chassis swap. Um, I'm going from two-wheel drive, half-ton, long bed, and I've pulled it off. I didn't video it because most people have pulled or seen a cab get pulled off of a square body. Okay, so I've got her sitting on there. Old crane comes in handy. Although I've got a cylinder up there I need to rebuild because it's bleeding off. So anyway, now I'm going to a three quarter ton four wheel drive. Um, it uh, these frames do a quite a big a, quite a big dip compared to what the what the factory square body does, which ain't that big a deal. I'm I'm gonna try to get it as low as possible. Um, I gotta get it leveled. I've gotta get it centered, and then I've gotta start figuring out body mounts. Um, I know there's one other guy that's done this so far. Um, he's he's either from Canada or Minnesota, up north somewhere. He's I can't remember the guy's name, but he daily drives it. Seem to come out all right. Um, I may or may not kind of use some of his ideas for the mounts. I know for one, I'm probably going to have some tubing bent um, and have tubing come up and meet the rear cab mount. Um, that'll be the simplest way to do that. I'll do two pieces of tubing that arch up do about I don't know they can do about 80 degree bends on them something like that well actually be about 100 degree bends um, not quite square I'll have those come off the frame here come up over and back down same same arc um, that'll that'll take care of that one it looks like <clears throat> out here in the mud It looks like the front cab mounts uh, for the square body go directly center of that frame or pretty close to it. So I'll have to figure out something else there. Not a big deal. Um, front mounts. Front mounts are off quite a bit as well. Um, there's a little bit of structure there I could probably use, but this stuff's gonna have to come off. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about bumper since that frame hangs, how that much hangs 12 or 13 inches below what the factory square body did. So, it is sitting side to side, it is sitting a little bit sitting a little bit to the right it looks like yeah so far it's sitting a little bit to the right no big deal I'll slide it over and get it squared up it looks like inner fender I'll have to get trimmed around the shock bolt um, drive shaft or steering shaft might pose a small bit of problems. I'll have to kind of figure that out. I think it'll come together right. And then I've got a truck located that has a 4.8, 4L60, and the manual transfer case. I may, I may pick it up. Um, it's only half ton, so that's why I didn't use its chassis and its short bed. So I'd have had to lengthen it. This one here, I'm going to have to shorten. I don't remember how much. I think the square body is uh, 131 and a half inch. 
and I think this one is 140 something or 151 I don't remember so I'm hoping I'm hoping to get the bed off I may get it off tomorrow get the bed off the square body I'm gonna set it on here try to locate it get it kind of where I want it um, have to pull a rear bumper off of it maybe maybe not I don't know anyway I'm gonna try to get it set on here and get it somewhat located where it needs to go and then I'm gonna measure wheelbase for both again see where they need to go and then see at what height um, the bed and the cab need to go. I may have to go up with the cab. It looks like the cab is going to have to go at least in the back. It's going to have to go up another inch. It's got a little bit of a taper backwards downhill. So looks like the rear of the cab is going to have to go up another inch. Not that big a deal. I think I have to slide it back. It looks like my wheel well distances are a little off. I need to get that figured out, get the wheels straight. I don't know what the other side looks like. This fender over here is kind of tore up, so it's hard to tell, but it was tore up before I started. But that don't matter. I'm gonna do a little bit of front end modification of this. <clears throat> if I, cause the hood's junk on it anyway, you know, the, uh, pre-80 square bodies the hood folds in half on them so I may go to the 85 86 square body front end and I'm probably going to do till front end I'm leaving this one on here just because it's where it needs to be door gaps are pretty close get all that that way I can get the front wheel wells lined up and then once I've got all that done then I'm gonna mod the front for tilt front end I'm a semi-mechanic. I don't like alligator hoods. It's easy to do a tilt front end on these. Um, and uh, that's that's my goal. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure my mounts are gonna have to come off there. I'm gonna have to do something different. Um, let's see how they line up with the frame. As you can see right there, that doesn't quite line up with the frame. Again, it's sitting a little bit to the right see down there anyway it's sitting a little bit to the right I need to square it all up get it centered on the on the chassis and uh, see where I'm at uh, it is an AC truck I'm gonna try to um, I've done it before I'm gonna use the square bodies AC compressor or the uh, new body style for this chassis I'm going to use that compressor and adapt it to the AC that way it's got AC um, I'm not sure what I want to do for gay or for speedo yet I may go to digital dash so that I've got electronic speedo because the modern transfer cases transmissions put out a uh, speed signal instead of having a cable drive not that big a deal I didn't cut the parking brake cable. Um, just, I'm gonna probably try to hook it back up, even though I don't know that the parking brake stuff on this thing is pretty any good. You know, I guess it is back here. I could hook it to this one, run this one back up to the front, put a new cable on it, hook it back up. That'll probably work. The main reason I'm doing this, for one, three-quarter ton four-wheel drive in my area, southern Missouri, are highly sought after. Of course, the square body is highly sought after, but I, I'll have all the LS, all the new modern running gear, fuel pumps already in the tank, um, modern brakes. Uh, this does have disc brakes on the back as well. So I've got modern brakes. I'll be able to use the new body styles exhaust everything will mount into place i've done 
over 40 LS swaps in various different vehicles. And, you know, the biggest problem you run into is fuel pump. Some things you can adapt over. Uh, some things are more, more of a pain. I've used frame rail mounted uh, fuel pumps. In fact, my dually back there has an 8.1 in it. It's a 93, it's got an 8.1, it was a 6.5 truck. And I've got an electric fuel pump on the frame of it. I've been running it like that for years. I've probably replaced it once, maybe twice. And I've put a pile of miles on that truck and towed and just i've wore it out so anyway that's the main reason i'm doing this um i will have to cut a hole for the driver's sides um i'll have to cut a hole for the driver's side fuel fill not a big deal. I want to go to the modern anyway. That's just got the spout on the other side since it's the pre-80. All it has is the hole with the gas cap sticking out in the open. I'll plug that hole up, use the driver's side fill. Uh, yeah, it'll all it'll all work right. Looks like I've got some brake lines to fill or to replace. Not a big deal. Once I pull the cab back off, I'm gonna drop a lot of this stuff off. Um, pull the tank out. I'll clean all that area up, clean it, prep it, paint it, get all that done. So that's not a problem. Like I said, shortening it, I'm going to have to shorten it in here. Uh, I, I, I think it's 13 inches I have to come out of this, if I remember right. So, anyway, that's my plan. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming together. Uh, we've had decent weather around here so i'm able to get out and do stuff uh my garage is dirt floored i'm trying to get prepped to build a garage next year but till that works till that works out or build, uh, pour a concrete floor for that one so until i get that done i'm working on dirt my brother does have a lift in his garage and concrete floor um, but he's like 50 miles away from me not that big a deal but it still gets to be a pain you know i don't want to plug his garage up so anyway that's that's where i'm at um i'm gonna start doing some doing some figuring here and see what i've got to do all right i'll catch you later